much better. Five. The Bible's fulfilled prophecies. Can't wait. Only one person knows the future, and that person is God. Okay, so God's a person, and corporations are people too. It's good to keep up to date, because I'm cool with it. Anything, whatever the fuck. I'm not mad at anybody, honestly. <sighs> Men may guess, but God knows. That should be a bumper sticker. Right there. Men may guess, but God knows. <laughs> I love it. Make me a t-shirt, please. Because <laughs> that would turn so many people in the right direction. Especially if you, you know, have a hashtag down there. And God has chosen to reveal in his book some details of the future. The prophecies related to Jesus first coming demonstrate this point. Oh, really? Yeah, let's see if they got something new to say here. The Bible contains more than 300 prophecies that were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. I hope they have them listed. Because I really want to see them. Because I might have missed one. And I haven't been pressed yet. If Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see. They were given hundreds and thousands of years before the birth of Jesus. Wow. Yet they were fulfilled in minute detail. And Nostradamus predicted Hitler and the Kennedys and Roswell, maybe. I don't know. I forget. Fascinating. Yet they were fulfilled in minute detail that Jesus was coming. And all that. And then there's some PowerPoints here. Not numbered, though. The Bible says Christ would be born in Bethlehem. He was. Okay. The Bible says kings would bring gifts in honor of his birth, and they did. But only in Matthew. I'm just helping. Only in Matthew. And some Apocrypha. But that don't count, I guess. <sighs> the, 
the Bible says Christ would be rejected by the Jews and would bring light to the Gentiles because there's a lot more of them. That, that works out so much better this time. <laughs> it's all fine. Everybody's invited. Jump on board. It's fine with me. <laughs> the Bible says Christ would be betrayed by a friend for 30 Pieces of silver he was. No citations so far, but yeah, I think I know some of the places where they've used that. Who knows, so much has been re-edited and accreted. The Bible says the betrayal of silver would be thrown in the potter in the temple, and it was in Matthew alone. The Bible says Christ would be wounded. Okay. <laughs> the Bible says Christ would be wounded, bruised, spit upon, mocked, and finally put to death, this all happened. Explain that. <laughs> the Bible says Christ's hands and feet would be pierced by something. happen to be those nails though. You know, they didn't know until they knew after it happened. Fortunately, they found somewhere in the scriptures where it said something like that. And that was good enough. This is some pretty poor persuasions thus far. pierced, that his clothes would be pulled off. Because that never happens, ever, until it happened there. And then it never happens again, I guess. <sighs> and divided, and that he would be exposed to the stare of the public. You. That's terrible. These prophecies were fulfilled when Jesus was crucified. Wow. Keep going. The Bible says Jesus would be buried in a rich man's grave. At least somebody could afford a grave. I guess. Uh, but he would rise again and return 
in triumph to God the Father, just like King Arthur and Merlin. They're going to come back. And who else? Let's see, who else? A whole bunch. Look it up. Google time. Yeah, he would return again in triumph to God the Father. Wonder of wonders, even this came to pass. Wow. Take your victory lap. <laughs> Not only these prophecies, but all 300 in the Bible were fulfilled. The only explanation is that God knows the future and that he revealed it to us in his word, the Bible. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the end of that section. Anyway, wow. Wow some heavy shit to ponder, right? Let me know what you think. Did you learn anything? Has your life been forever changed? Or you, do you require a little more persuasion? Because I'm not done. I'm trying to help out. Nothing better to do right now. Except put, maybe put another log in the fire. Anyway, stay tuned. More to come. I'm not done.